Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Live from OR. We are at the Winter Market 2016, and I am sitting next to a very incredible woman, <laughs> Julie Ellison, the new editor of Climbing Magazine. High five, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us about the journey. You started as an intern I did. at Climbing, yep. and now you are the head honcho. Yes. That's um, a big deal. <laughs> well, uh, I feel like anybody who had started six years ago and stuck with it as long as I have uh, would be in the same seat as me. I mean, I did spend a lot of long nights in the office and stuff, but yeah, I started as an intern in 2010. was there for about three weeks as an intern, and then um, a couple people left, and the editor at the time, Justin Roth, uh, I don't. I guess he saw potential or something and um, liked the way I edited, so he offered me a full-time job. Associate editor for a few years, gear editor for two years, senior editor, and then now I'm here. So you're from Alabama. Mm -hmm. There are no huge mountains there. No. How did you get into this? Well, actually, I grew up um, in a small town called Cullman, and it's about 45 minutes away from a world-class destination called Horse Pens 40. Okay. Um, and I grew up climbing there, and then we would make trips to Chattanooga, which is about yep. two, two and a half hours away. Um, so that's where I got hooked, and then went to school in North Carolina, climbed some there, then came out west. And <laughs> Tell us what's new in climbing. Um, I mean, everything is new. I mean, women are crushing it, doing first ascents, climbing 15A. Tell us about doing, some of those women. I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> uh, Ashima, obviously. Uh, I think she's 15 now. Yeah. She's doing something that most climbers will never do, which is climb their age. Uh, oh, meaning, nice. so she's climbed 15. V14 boulders when she was 13 or 14, and then now she's 15. She's climbing 515A. Um, Heather Widener, super inspirational. She's out there um, doing, working on an all gear, first female ascent of China Doll in Boulder wow. Canyon, really cool. And so one thing that I'm hoping to do is like, as the first female editors, bring a lot more attention to the women that are crushing it. Um, and you know, there's kind of a disparity between the strength of a man and a woman, but women are really quickly closing the gap. Um, and I think that should be shouted from the rooftops and Absolutely. celebrated. So. so with that, what are some of the new stories that you're crafting for this year, 2016? Oh, ask me in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> um, just some, some kind of more profile pieces on interesting climbers out there, men and women. I'm, I'm planning definitely a female-focused package, kind of just a, a look at the, the face of climbing. Um, it's changed so much from you know, 1970 when Climbing Magazine started. Um, and I'd like to reflect that evolution in the content and the audience that we talk to. So, Very cool. Yeah. And so when women pick up the magazine in a few months, mm -hmm. uh, what do you hope they get out of it? What do you, th what do you hope they notice that's <laughs> different? Um, I hope that they, there's a lot more of the seeing the opportunity that they have to be really good at something, to open it up and see female names on the masthead, to see pictures of women crushing and yeah. say, they did it, I can do it too. Yeah. Um, and to see a lot more uh, role models to kind of um, imitate and follow. Very cool. Yeah. So why are you, why'd you come to OR? You're here amongst all these amazing people and athletes yeah. and brands, and it's just the energy is some, oh, we love it. Yeah. Why is it so great for climbing and you personally? Um, it's great for me, because I get to see people that I've been working with for so long um, and continue to build relationships with those people and the brands they represent. Obviously, see all the new gear is great for us to see kind of the trends of what's happening. Gear coverage is a pretty integral part of climbing, yeah. especially being kind of sister publications with Backpacker Magazine. They've set such an amazing precedent with their gear coverage. Um, and so it's important for us to kind of try and catch up a little bit in that way. But most of it's the people, just seeing people that I love and yeah. go climb with and you know have a beer with and it's it's great. Have everybody in one spot. Cool. So what kind of advice do you have for young women who want to do what you're doing, who want to sit in this seat someday? <laughs> Just to keep your head up and, and keep trying. I think uh, it's it definitely is kind of a long road. You kind of work and work and work. And then I, I did this. I worked and worked and worked and then realized that four years had gone by. And I was like, oh, OK, I'm, I'm experienced now. Um, but just keep working hard and keep coming up with ideas, build relationships. Um, I hate the word networking, but <laughs> 
because in the outdoor industry, it's more about being friends with somebody. Yeah. So um, just keep moving in that direction. Yeah. Cool. It'll happen. Well, we are very proud of you. Thank I you. think the world's excited to see what Colony Mag Magazine has down the pipeline <laughs> because too. of you. <laughs> and we wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thanks. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Winter OR 2016. We'll see you next time.